course I'm nervous. How would you not be? You know, the fact that I'm going to be risking my life along with my sister who nearly lost hers to that same wire. Uh, so of course there's nerves leading up to it. There's stress from everything from the finalization of the ten, uh, the, the uh, tension of the wire to the stabilization of the wire. All of that stuff comes into play and plays, play, kind of wreaks havoc on me and it's hard to sleep leading up to this stuff. More or less stress crossing Times Square than, say, the Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls? More, and people may not understand that, but the fact that my sister's on that wire with me, I'm so concerned about her and her safety that I can't really focus on myself, and that that's nerve-wracking. That's, that's nearly scary. I don't want to say those words, but it's certainly nerve-wracking, the fact that I'm so concerned about her that I won't be able to focus 100% on myself. And in really doing this, I need to be able to focus 100%. We are, we're both on the same three quarter inch wire rope. Actually, there's a piece of it right here. Uh, both of us are walking this cable. Uh, it is three quarters of an inch in diameter. It is about 1300 feet long. We're 25 stories up. We'll start on opposite ends. We'll meet in the middle. She'll actually sit on that wire. I'll step over her. Then she'll stand back up and we'll make it to opposite ends. Walking on the identical, this is just a piece off the end of it. It is 1300 feet long. It is over 25 stories up. You know, there are, um, we're always thinking about safety. It's definitely a very, very important what thing to what we do. Uh, of course, with what happened to my sister, um, I, I wouldn't let her walk this wire if she wasn't tethered. That was just something that was important to me. It's also a law, unfortunately, here in New York City, and I say unfortunately for me. Um, so it is required. So they, 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 we will be safety. However, it does not in any way keep us from the wire. It doesn't impede us from falling. It impedes us from falling all the way to the ground. Also, not just two. You know, I try not to focus or allow anything negative to overtake my mind. So if something negative comes in, I try to counter it with something positive. Uh, you know, winds, for example, well, I've trained in 90 mile an hour winds. We know I won't get on the cable at 90 mile an hour winds. So those sort of things will help me sleep through the night. People often ask, what about the weather? Have you looked at the weather? I don't even bother doing that because nothing will help me. Uh, stress won't help change the weather, right? So why would I even check it out yet? I am told that it looks like it's gonna be pretty nice, but sometimes people come up and say, hey, so the weather, I'm like, I don't even want to know. I'll deal with it when I come to it. Today has enough troubles of its own. There's a lot of information, certainly. I mean, we do, do certainly have a lot of uh, inside information, if you will, the fact that our family's done this well over 200 years. So, uh, look, we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot by loss of life, too. Look, I've lost seven family members doing this. So uh, it's trial and error, in a sense. So we figured a lot out. But look, the, the dangers, it, it's the real deal. Tell me, like, what keeps you doing this? You know, it's in our blood, seven generations, 200 years. I was born to do this. It is who I am. It's not what I do. It's just who I am. It's my life. When you're not doing this, how do you relax? Uh, I spend time with my family. It's what I enjoy doing. And they're actually on a plane flying to see me right now, so I can't wait to see them. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> I was, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I,